Welcome to the Shearwalls online tutorial for the US edition. In this series of videos, we will help you understand various parts of the design results from Shearwalls based on a simple rectangular one-story building with a hip roof. I have already drawn my structure and generated the loads and I will now run the design. The project file available in the description below is saved until this point. You will notice that even for this one-story project file, there are around 40 pages of design results. Instead of scrolling through the various pages of the design results generated, the go-to table is a tool to quickly jump to relevant information about the design such as loads, design summary, wind, and seismic design analysis. Throughout this video, we will be going through the various areas of the design results using this go-to table button. The first thing you should do after running the project is look at the design summary table. This table will alert you of major issues and will point you to the relevant tables to address those issues. However, for this training, we will work our way down the list of results tables. The project information section includes company and project information and is directly related to what is filled in the settings company information and project description tabs. The next area, design settings, provides a summary of the basic design information such as the design code, wind and seismic load procedures and load combinations. It also shows the selected design settings such as the service conditions and drift limit for wind design and other relevant information from the project. The site information includes a summary of the input used to determine wind and seismic loads for the project file. The next menu item is the structural data. The story information, as well as block and roof information, gives you a summary of the inputs in the structure block input data, such as the story elevation, dimensions of block and roof slopes. Similarly, the shear line, wall and opening dimensions provide a summary for the locations of all the walls and openings in the project file. The table also reports the aspect ratio of the shear resisting segments in the project file. The key area in the structural data is the sheathing materials table and framing materials table, which, combined, gives a summary of all the wall constructions used in the structure. Both tables assign a wall group to each wall construction. A group is described by its exterior and interior surface, followed by the materials used for the surfaces. In the first table, the sheathing information and the fastener information are grouped together. The sheathing material, span rating, sheathing thickness, or the OSB thickness and the panel mark, gypsum underlay, numbers of plies, the orientation of the sheathing, and the shear rigidity are all displayed. In the fastener section, the null size, type, if it's deformed or not, the panel edge and field spacing, as well as the blocking conditions are shown. The framing materials by wall group is viewed by scrolling down under the legend of the sheathing table. It indicates the stud framing material by wall group, listing the species, grade, width and depth of the studs, the stud spacing, and the specific gravity and modulus of elasticity of the studs. These two tables show some of the most important results, as they have most of the shear wall construction requirements that should be incorporated in a typical shear wall schedule. A multitude of sheathing combinations or wall groups in the design results is not practical in construction. Therefore, a good strategy is to limit the unknowns in the design in order to reduce the number of wall groups. It is also a good way of making sure that you chose the desired sheathing framing and nails. You can also create standard walls with your preferred wall details. If you leave unknowns when defining wall details, the software will automatically determine the most efficient combination of the shear wall construction requirement that would resist the loads applied to the structure. In fact, information about thickness of the sheathing, fastener size, edge and field spacing, as well as some framing details can be obtained in the final design when leaving them as unknowns. 
Toggling the Design and Group feature, available in the Walls form view, permits the user to quickly design each wall group which has the same type with the same details. For example, in a 4-story structure with the same wall type on each level, when toggled, each level will change its details even if you only adjust wall 2-1 on level 1. If you disable this option for all walls on level 1, you can then adjust them without changing details on other levels. This is particularly useful if you want to design walls on the first story to be stronger than walls on the rest of the structure, for example. As mentioned earlier, each type of wall with the same details will be assigned as a group in the sheathing and framing materials details.